everyone and welcome to It's a Great Matter. Today we'll be doing a takeaway of the three previous videos. Specifically, I'd like to address why reviewing this material is important. During their study in 2014, Damiano and colleagues established that physical symptoms in ASD are very well documented. With recent research after 2014, we see these symptoms even more documented than before. In addition, the article elaborates that we don't have any true treatments for the physical symptoms that we see in autism spectrum disorder. While in our gastrointestinal video, we did talk about probiotic therapy, all of those studies were trials and we don't have any probiotic therapy that is a solid approved treatment available. Because no true treatment is available, we have to keep pushing to provide an approved treatment for people with autism spectrum disorder to fight these symptoms. According to Moore and colleagues, it's especially important to find a treatment for sleep symptoms in ASD because they have a myriad of side effects that follow afterwards, including impaired cognition, disruptive daytime behavior, and lower language performance. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like any treatments are underway and approved to treat the physical symptoms of ASD. According to Levine and Munch, applied behavior analysis is the only extensive and approved treatment of ASD at the moment. Unfortunately, ABA stands for Applied Behavior Analysis, so it only treats the behavioral symptoms of ASD. It ignores the physical symptoms that we've covered and cognitive symptoms. Long story short, analyzing and continuing these studies is our best shot at providing both effective and approved treatment for patients with autism who suffer from both gastrointestinal and sleep symptoms. As always, thank you for watching It's a Gray Matter with your host, Kylie Jones. With that, I will see you guys in the next video.